Good morning from the beach. So Adrian went back out um, in the water by himself. I obviously can't go. Um, what we did do is add that I was able to sit <coughs> on kind of where the water comes in and um, you know, I was able to just like sit and get like very little of my body wet. Um, you know, just kind of like playing the pants, <laughs> sort of, and like my legs. Um, and I was holding like my arm up, so. But um, honestly, I don't even know what time it is. Uh, we have to pack our stuff, but I'm not really sure what today's gonna hold for us. Um, we have to leave at 4 o'clock tomorrow though or uh, to get to the airport so that we can get to Paris and then we have a 12 hour layover in Paris so there's that um, so yeah okay, just trying to I guess figure things out as we go today um, yeah. every like five minutes we're seeing a plane like come from over here and twist and land over there which is where the Nice airport is um, so it's like literally every five minutes we're having a plane kind of turn um, and do the same thing. It, it turns here and then goes there. So since we're in France, Adrian has decided that he wants to try the French wine. So he left the beach just to go get some, some wine for himself so he can drink down here. Drinking here is totally different. You're allowed to have like open containers and it's not a big deal. We saw somebody when we were having the dessert last night. This guy was so drunk and he was just walking around and staggering with like a glass of wine in his hand. <clears throat> they weren't, you know, from anywhere. They were just walking around. So it's just, it's not that big of a deal here. Um, there was something I thought was interesting last night. So we've been watching um, the documentaries. And I have watched a gazillion before. I love watching documentaries. I've seen a ton. Um, and we've watched now like four that have been pretty good. I think that I want to do a video talking about like maybe reviews on docu documentaries or something. I don't know if you guys have like some sort of uh, like idea of what I could do, you know, like with talking about documentaries I've seen. Definitely like let me know because I don't know, like I've watched so many and I'd love to just share some information with you guys. So. Um, the tide is coming in. I don't even, honestly, I have no idea what time it is. It's just really beautiful. There's a little bit of clouds now, which is perfectly fine because it means it's not direct sunlight. And it's just, it's just really beautiful here. And I feel bad because I feel like I haven't even remotely captured, like, how beautiful um, it is here and how much fun we've had. Um, so I'm hoping that the last, like, two vlogs are good and I'm able to show you guys that this place is, like, this has given me hope with like my life. I, um, I want, I'll talk to you guys about it probably at some point after I get home, but it's incredible. This was an incredible trip, so. Um, yeah, I'll see you soon. Let's drink this. decided to not go to sleep because we have a flight from Nice to Paris at 6.30 
and we have to leave at like 4.30 from here. So we also have a 12, over, 12 hour layover. Um, I guess we'll be getting in at like 8 and we have the layover until... Eight PM, and then we're flying seven hours back to New York. So basically, we're going to be traveling for twenty-four hours. So I thought that it would be better to sleep in between the flights since there's twelve hours in between. So I'll see you guys in about two minutes. But have a great rest of your night, everybody.